Hello students and welcome to today's lesson. And today we are going to tackle some grammar. And our topic of the day is transitive and intransitive verbs. Now, in sentences, they are those sentences that will communicate a complete thought without requiring any noun, we call it an object, after the verb. And they are those sentences that to make a complete meaning, they must be followed, the, the action verbs must be followed by a noun. And that is what we are using to talk about transitive and intransitive verbs. We are going to begin with transitive verbs. And transitive verbs are those that must take a direct object for the sentence to express a complete thought. A direct object is usually in form of a noun. And when we say that they must take a direct object, we mean that the action verb must be followed by a noun. For example, you will say that the captain steered the ship. If this verb steered was not to be followed by anything, then our sentence will not make any sense at all. And therefore, for us to get sense from this sentence, we must add the word the ship. And therefore, that makes it an, a transitive verb. Therefore, steered is a transitive verb. In another example, if you say the teacher praised the student, if you were just to say the teacher praised, your sentence will not make sense. And therefore, this verb praised must be followed by the noun, the student, which is our object here, so that it might make some sense. Like you are noting, the easiest way to identify transitive verb is to look for the question that it answers. Because basically, transitive verbs answer the questions what or whom. Without this, uh, with, without uh, the, the noun, we will not be knowing what it is that we are talking about. In examples, maybe, we can just look at these sentences. Uh, if you say, <coughs> uh, I bought, uh, sorry, if you say, I bought, this one is a transitive verb because you will be leaving us wondering what it is that you bought. And therefore here, there must be a direct object. What is it that you bought? Maybe a mango. If you say, I drew, we will be wondering what is it that you drew. And you must have that direct object for us to know that it is a cow that you drew. If you say the president told, told is a transitive verb. But who did he tell? The Senate Speaker. I am told it is the Deputy Speaker. Senate Deputy Speaker told the Deputy Speaker to go home, maybe. Um, you can also talk about the word like mocked. And who is it that was mocked? Obviously, it is the opposition leader, for example. So, in that case, you will note that all these actions must be followed by nouns for the sentences to make sense. If those nouns are not there, then the sense might not come out clearly. Also, it is good to know that transitive verbs can have two objects, and that is the direct and the indirect object. And still, if those objects are not there, then the sentence will not make sense. For example, you can say, Lulu bought Kigame a guitar. So the word bought is our transitive verb. A guitar is the direct object, while Kigame is the indirect object. But nonetheless, you will notice that here, the action bought must be followed by these verbs to make sense. For example, you can say, Kemani sold him a car. So a car is the direct 
object because it is receiver of the action buying but then him is the indirect object who is the beneficiary of the action therefore the easiest way like we have said to identify transitive verbs is to ask yourself does it have to have a verb for us to know who or what it is that we are talking about and if the answer is yes then you will always know that that active verb is a transitive verb next we are going to look at intransitive verbs uh, intransitive verbs they are those that do not require a direct object to make sense these verbs cannot be changed into passive because they do not have an object or the noun that is doing them they may be followed by adverbs to answer the questions where when how why and how often but it is also good to note that they can be at the end of the sentence for example if i was to say the sun shines that sentence is making a complete thought and it is making sense you don't have to add anything however you might you might decide to explain how the sun shines and you say brightly so this one is not mandatory but you can just add it to answer the questions how then you can just say the ship sailed and the sentence is making a complete sense at that juncture however you might want to explain the word sailed and therefore you add where maybe to what direction and you say northwards so in this case you will note that intransitive verbs can come at the end of the sentence but they may be followed by adverbs just for explanation purposes not because they are mandatory you will say things like the child smiled the the the, the, the student listened nafula yawned but you can decide to explain that more and you say nafula yawned disgustingly just for example so that is the difference between uh, transitive and intransitive verbs and i hope back at home you will be able to look at examples write several examples and try to identify transitive and intransitive verbs then i'll be sending you some questions that you will try and the notes on the same as i wish you nice time and please stay safe